Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the second quest of Fight 7.4 and in this video I will be taking down the special delivery path. The main nodes on this path are special delivery and foot loose. With special delivery we need to throw a special attack every 15 hits or within every 15 hits otherwise we will be inflicted with a passive degeneration, uh, passive degeneration which will do a lot of damage so we need to be wary of throwing our specials as quickly as possible and with footloose the defender will gain unstoppable and evade buffs whenever they throw their special attacks so we can either use champions with slow debuffs to get rid of these unstoppable and evade buffs or we can just wait out for these buffs to expire a better option is tigra who with her neutralized buff will just completely fail the unstoppable and evade buffs to trigger in the first place so yeah tigra's neutralized buff is very powerful There is also no surrender node which will give us some uh, resistance to the passive degeneration effects for the least uh, uh, if we have less number of power bars then we will just be more resistant to the passive degeneration and if we have more bars of power then the resistance to these passive degeneration effects will be reduced. So if you are failed to comply with the special delivery node and are going to get inflicted with the passive degeneration then what you can do is to ensure that you have uh, you don't have too many bars of power fill and you will be mostly resistant to the degeneration effect but anyways it's uh, uh, but anyways it's advisable to just keep throwing your special attacks so that you take no damage from the special de delivery node. And in this red goblin fight, I'm going to use Mojo. Now, Mojo is also a good counter for Footloose because once his anti life shield is active, then once the defenders Mm, uh, get the footloose buffs then these buffs will just instantly get removed because of Mojo's ability to reduce buff duration by 90% whenever his anti-life field is active. So yes the footloose buffs are just disappearing extremely quickly and are converted into degeneration instant. So Mojo is also a very good counter for this footloose node and this fight is not exactly going to go well for me because I will make mistakes and get hit by his special attack that much I remember yes I am also going to get comboed and now I think I will eat this special from this red goblin in a uh, goblin in any minute the point is that if you use mojo properly then he should be also a solid option for this path I failed to just block or evade the special 2 and Mojo is dead. I'm going to use Tigra to finish off this fight. Just make sure when you are using Tigra that you have a neutralize active on the defender when they are about to throw their special attack and that way they, are, they will be unable to get those foot loose buffs. I had neutralize active so red goblin didn't get foot loose buffs.
and the fight is over. Good job by Tigra. Next up we have Dormammu. And against Dormammu I will be using Red Hulk. Red Hulk is also very simple to use and yet he is very effective against this mystic champs because they will build up his heat charges very quickly and it's just very easy to use him and there's nothing much to worry about. I will not be able to avoid these footloose buffs but I can easily wait out and let those buffs expire before I start doing my damage. are a very good She-Hulk or spider Gwen player then those champs will also be very good for this path because they have access to slow debuffs and they can just make quick work of these fights as well. Now that I have 10 heat charges so I will be hitting very hard. And Dormammu is down as well. So that fight took a bit of time because I had to wait out for the footloose buffs to expire before I could start dealing my damage but nevertheless I was completely in control throughout the fight and had nothing, nothing to worry about. And now this time I have to face Red Hulk and against Red Hulk I will be using Nick Fury. Again, Nick Fury doesn't have anything to counter the footloose node, but what I can do is just wait out for those buffs to expire and then I can start hitting him. Red Hulk is down as well. Now 
next up we have America Chavez and for America Chavez I have brought Human Torch she is quite annoying to face honestly because she gets a lot of power and she has a really scary special do which can be unblockable as well so I don't personally like fighting her but with Human Torch she shouldn't be that hard this is the only fight, uh, this is the only fight for which I have brought Human Torch so all I care about here is to just get this America Chavez down I tried my best to evade that special too but I got hit on the last few hits. But either way now that we have a couple of smolders so she is sticking down really fast. And this scary fight is done as well. So the last fight on this path is Venipool and for Venipool I will be using Tigra. That was a massive special too. I'm not the best tiger up there, but when I'm able to use her well, it's just really nice to see those big special tools. That was a quick fight, and with that fight, the path is done as well. And for the final boss I will be taking down yellow jacket once again because that's a that's the easiest boss of the three available in this quest and for the for the yellow jacket boss I will be once again using Nick Fury this should be a very quick and easy fight so yeah that's it from my side on this video's commentary and I shall see you guys soon in the next video